say hello, Jack. Hello, and welcome to the day four, I think it is, in Ark Survival Evolved. How's everyone today? As you can see, we have a little monkey on our shoulder. His name's Jack. He's a little cutie pie, isn't he? A little cutie pie. So yeah, as you can see by the beginning, the intro of this video clip, I showed a little clip on how I tamed this little cutie pie on my shoulder. I just, you know, saw the opportunity and I took it. And yeah, so that's how we got Jack. Also, off camera, I made a rotten box so we can start spoiling our meat, which is another mod, by the way. Um, I think I did explain about that mod, I can't remember. But just so it's easier to spoil our meat so we can make narcotics. Now, I went out on a little hunt before started this before day four, um, and I raided a um, beaver dam and got us some cement and paste, which, as we know, we were going to struggle on anyway. So today's objective is to get us a pteranodon and start our our final base. You know, the base where we're going to be living the rest of our days. And like I said, last episode, or as I said, on day three, um, we have decided, oh, to apologize for that, we have decided that we are going to live here. Now, I've had a look around. It looks quite peaceful. Um, you know, I've had, well, the only thing I seem to get attacked by He's a micro raptor, but that's kind of you know up there like. So yeah. So in today we are going to, like I said, tame a on and start our build. Now we're gonna to build to stone to start off with. In order to tame up a tyrandon, we are going to need first of all we're gonna to need to make a little extension on here so we can build the kibble table. So I do have a couple of stone foundations made up, some S plus stone foundations. And we've just got to level up. Uh, I'm gonna whack this in the weight for the time being because we you know be hopefully shifting a lot of metal soon. So we're going to just place these down. Doesn't matter where, because like I said, it's just so we can put uh, can you go there, please? No, you can't go there. Why not? Oh, don't worry then. Go away. Go away. We can't go where we need to go. So yeah, we're going to make crack on and make the kibble table. So because we want the part, we, no, we want the perfect table to handle on, don't we? So we want 15 cement and paste, 15 metal ingot, and 75 wood. Right, cement and paste, not a problem. So we will take 27 cement and paste. We'll come in here, we'll take some wood. And we will take 15 metal ingot. Um, so yeah, let's craft up the kibble table. Oh no, I didn't bring enough wood. I did not bring enough wood. Fuck it, just do that for the moment. Uh, kibble table, yes please. Right, so we craft up the kibble table. Now let's transfer um, some of that stuff back into the smithy there. We'll come around here and we will place our kibble table. Like so. Now we need, this is where all the kibble is, and we are going to need metal ore for this. Um, hopefully we have some. Two. <laughs> That's not going to be enough. So I'll tell you what we do. We're going to tame a Pteranodon as a main flyer. So we can go around, pick up, you know, collect metal and crystal and things like this. And then we will eventually tame up another two 
high level perfect tame pteranodons for a breeding project because that's one thing I love playing art for is the breeding side of things so we will before we head out we will make ourselves a pteranodon saddle so we want to come in here and we want 75 chitin or keratin, 125 fiber, and 230 hide. Right, now this is where the chitin and keratin is. I don't know if I will have enough. Got enough hide. And was it fiber? I think it was, but we will have a look -sees. Oh, I do have enough keratin and chitin. That's good, that's good. And yes, it is fiber, so we'll take that one. Go back to the crafting and craft ourselves up a pteranodon saddle. All that back in there. Noisy trike. So we have a pteranodon saddle, we have some bowlers, and we have some trank arrows. I will double make sure that is trank arrows in that one. Yes, it is. And we will also grab a couple of narcotics just in case. So we're gonna leave Trikey here. That's what I've named him for the time being, Trikey. And we will go off on foot and see what we can find. So without further ado, let's go after a Tarandom. Okay, so there's a oh, there's an RG up, a couple of RGs up here. I look at things. Ah, shit, they got mass stacks. Ah, you bastard. Fucking die. Where'd that other cunt go? Where'd he go? I bloody ate him. Ah, uh, what level are you? Yeah, exactly, Jack. Get down here. Hang on, let me cancel that. Oh, level 90 female Tyrannodon. Now that is what we are looking for. So... Let's put her to sleep. And you go away. Daddy Gallimimus. Right. So she is asleep. Now we want to go and get some meat. There is plenty down here. So let's grab this parasaur. Like so. Let's not waste our arrows. Alright, we've got 56 meat in pocket and we have another level up. Um, um, where is she to? Where is she to? There she is. There she is. Right. Let's stick that in there and that in there. Let's see how much one bit of meat we'll tame her up by let's just knock a point into stamina there so we're just going to wait now to see how much one bit of meat would we'll tame her up by then I can work out roughly how long it's going to be so whilst we're waiting remember if you enjoy this episode and have enjoyed the series so far please smash the thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe and show your support. It is appreciated. Right. They are very slow eaters. 
as you can probably tell. So we might have to go and get some prime meat. Oh, 11.4, 8 feeds would be 88, 9 feeds would be 99. So roughly about 9, 9 bits of meat. She should eat. Oh shit. Run for the water. Ah, just made it. Just made it. Well, just on my way back to the Pteranodon, and I've spotted a nice 140 female. Now that is why I want the kibble. I'm not going to tame her up. I'm going to leave her. But this is why I want the kibble, because that could be a possibly 180, 190 tame on kibble, if not higher. You know, and that's... Oh, hello. And that would be absolutely beautiful to start our breeding project. So yeah, we're just going to wait for this Pteranodon to tame up. And then we will, hopefully, I'll bring you guys and gals back in once it tames up. Not like the trike. I'll bring you guys and gals in when it just tames up. Um, so you can be here for that special moment. And I'll make sure that I record it this time. So yeah, so see you in a minute. Okay, so she's up. Thank God for that. I got a bit fed up waiting there. So she is up and looking as beautiful as ever. Level 133 Pteranodon. Oh, hello Stego. Yeah, look at her. Lot. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Welcome to... Welcome to the world. Well, you're in the world anyway, but you're in my world now. Yeah, right. So let's saddle you up. There's a saddle. In the end, I managed... I put my... Um, cooked prime meat on her. Yes! We're flying in the air. Oh, how much... It's, how much better it is being in a flyer. It really is, really is. Now see, this pool here is where I raided the beaver dams and there is a couple more there, which I might come up off camera and get. Ah, oh, this is so, so much better. This is so much better. So we're gonna go back to base now and we are going to drop off Jack and then we're going to try out... Oh my god, a fucking Diplo's around my bloody face. Uh, um, I wonder if I can lure it away. I wonder if we can just lure it away. Or even kill it would be nice. Let's we'll try it the Pteranodon. On the Diplo, get some levels on it, on her. Get some levels on you, sweetheart, isn't it? So. Now the only problem is with Tyranodons, they do have very low stamina, so we've got to watch that. But she seems to be doing just fine. Now this is the basic attack, and she is rocking it. Here's only a level 25 dip below though. Nope, let's get the camera out of water, there you go. Let's munch her up. Just like that. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So, we've got some levels to pump on her. So, what we're going to do is pump the stamina. And she's got some quite good stats to start off with, which is nice. And we're going to take the hide off her there. Oh, look at her. Look. So, she's a uh, level 136 now. Absolutely beautiful. So, we have... 
Hang on a minute. So, we have tamed up our first flyer, as promised on this episode. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort myself out. And, you know, take a few bits off me. Then we're going to go on the hunt for some metal. And have a little fly around and see if we can spot our next tame. Um, which hopefully will be on day five in the next episode and then we're going to come back and we're going to start our new base so guys and gals we'll see you in a minute okay ladies and gentlemen so we're going to go out and have a look around now for next time i wouldn't mind a nice size stego i really wouldn't mind a nice size stego so that might be what we go after. Or I might be a little bit cheeky and see if we can get this RG team out of the way. And get this a nice, you know, nice size flyer. As they have, you know, RGs are for the weight. Oh, look. Look at that. Run straight into some metal. I was about to say. So we're looking up high here for some metal nodes. And we found some. Now, before we do, I just want to show you what um, our Tyranny can do. So, you got the left click, which is your basic attack. Right click, which is pick up, so you can pick up dinos and people and things like that. Then you have the C button, which is her roll attack, which is a very powerful attack. Now, if I spotted right, there was some Mega Nero up here. So we're going to do the roll attack on them. But the roll attack, it does take quite a bit of stamina off. So you've got to bear that in mind when using it. But look, we wiped out those Mega Nero. As easy as that. So, let's land over here. Let's grab a bit of this metal here. Whilst we wait for our stams to regain. What we'll do is we will just level up our stamina a bit there. So in order for metal, we're going to need the pick. Metal pick. It's much better. Now, if we could take back a good couple hundred, oh, hang on, I've got to level up as well, and I'm going to do our weight. Um, if we can get go home with a good couple hundred metal, or that would be Kushti. Okay, so this is the last metal node. Once we've got this, we'll fly back to base. Which, luckily for us, is only just down the path there. It's just down here. Um, yeah, we're in there. Had to get my bearings then. So we've got a fair hefty amount of metal ore, which we can now stick in the furnaces. Because, you know, we can carry quite a bit. But it's just the smell inside of things. That's what's going to take the time. So there, we've got 826 metal ore. Oh shit, wrong button. Um, which should, we should get about 400 metal. So we'll unlock the refining gas forge, which is another mod. I think I did explain about I would be, you know, maybe adding that, and I did. Um, I'm not really sure whether it would be wise to go metal at the moment or stick to stone. Right, what we're going to do, we're just going to stick to stone. Okay. Just going to stick to the stone. And then, like I said, eventually we will upgrade to um, metal. So, yeah. Uh, and it's going to piss on our parade now, isn't it? So, what we would do is we will take out that lot of metal there. We will half. We will half that one. No, I keep pressing E. I don't mean to press E. Uh, we will stick that in there. And then the rest into the kibble table. For 
teacher. Now we'll come in here. We will grab foundations we have. Uh, stone, wood, fiber, thatch. Because I can't remember what we need for the stone. Uh, stone, thatch, and wood. So we don't need fiber. So the fiber can go back in there. Okay. So. Once we get there, because we are a little bit overburdened. Um, we're going to start at the front here. So as that is lower than this part um, we will start to lay our foundations here now I don't I have the clipping off so we can clip into walls and stuff so um, let's do this um, I say there should do I think that's about as straight as we're going to get it now that lets us build walls right up there cover all that in so we will oh that's just gone underground penis oh well we just create some more I did not mean to do that at all but that's what's good about the S plus um, foundations. You know, you can stack them on top of each other. I think we can create one more and then we'll be out of stone, which we are. But see, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna build it up. Now like for this part here, um, might be building out to about here and build like a ramp going down and then a ramp going up and that might be what they'll do there so we are going to have to go and do a bit of grind gather a, a load of stone to get at least the foundations built on this episode but it would be nice to you know Get some sort of structure built and move all our stuff from our little shack to the main base so yeah i'm gonna get my grind on i'm gonna bring you guys gals back in once i finish the grind so see you in a minute
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are back. Now, I've been grinding my ass off for the past three hours and ten minutes, I think it is, altogether. And this has what this is what I have built so far. Now, this is going to be the front of our fort kind of base kind of thingamajig. Um, yeah, it hasn't really been that easy to get, you know, this done. There's a lot, like the foundations. There, it's 80 stone per foundation and 40 wood and shit like that. And yeah, there isn't really much stone around this area. So I had to do, like I said, a lot of grinding to get it done. It took about three hours and 10, 20 minutes, something like that. So yeah, so like I said, this is the front. So we'll go in now. Now, yes, this is all S plus stuff, so there will be automatic doors and things like this, which if they do become an annoyance, we will be carrying them off. So this is going to be uh, the second room, which will we will build gradually over time. Um, I've got to get three more walls and start the ceilings on our first room, which is in here. This is going to be our first room. Now it's four high. Be four high and then of course we're gonna have more rooms on top things like this um, eventually you know something like this this would be probably like a once we move our main base to the back which if we go through here at this little tunnel this is going to be like our main base for doing things at the front is going to be for like dino breeding hatchery and things like this so eventually this will all be changed into like a hatchery or breeding room um, hence why I use the S plus stuff because all you got to do is just pick it up then and then it's done so like I said this has been a hell of a grind so I hope you know it's up to your standards because it's up to mine you know I don't go small as they say go big or go home and I go big and it's only gonna get bigger guys and girls it's only gonna get bigger so, the next part of this video, um, I want to start moving things into our first room and get things done like the upgrade station and um, other little bits we are going to need.